Could a fellow Tea Party Republican claim the congressional seat currently held by Trey Radel? Radel on a leave of absence after pleading guilty to a cocaine charge two and a half weeks ago, and he continues to resist calls from state and local GOP leaders for him to step down. Four in your corners, Liza Fernandez asking Radel's toughest opponent from Collier County what his intentions are now. Liza? Patrick, 34-year-old money manager Byron Donalds beat Trey Radel in the primary election last year in Collier County, 28 to 25 percent. And of the four or so names tossed about as potential Republican challengers to Congressman Trey Radel's seat, Donalds is the only one to come out and say he's formally considering it. I love my boys. I love my wife. Byron Donald's wife of 12 years and three boys are clearly his life. And that's why, without judgment, if not sympathy, Donald says he knows where Congressman Trey Radel's priority should be. The thing for him that's most important is that he takes his time to get his life in order. Um, that's something that's very important, not only for him, but for his wife, Amy, and for his son. While calling Radel's drug scandal a distraction, Donald's won't comment on whether the congressman should resign. I'm not really sure what his thought process is on that. You know, when you, when you run for something like this, you really put your all into it. I know Trey did, and we all did. In fact, Donald's hard work helped him edge Radel out during last year's primary in Collier County, 28 to 25 percent. Why do you think you didn't have such a great showing in Lee, in Lee County? Uh, name ID. Nobody knew me up there. And if I decided to run again, I think that my support in Lee County would be substantially larger than it was before. But it seems no one has forgotten Byron Donalds either. My wife and I, uh, we've received a lot of communications and a lot of support from all over the congressional district, even places where I didn't get support before. Um, so we're probably going to make a decision over the next 45 to 60 days. And for a man who deals with numbers all day, he's now crunching numbers of a different sort. You know, politics, you have to be able to put together the money in order to, to campaign strong and, and to do those things. But it's also community support. If there are people in Lee County, Cape Coral, Fort Myers, Estero, Bonita Springs, uh, Naples and Marco Island that, that want to support me, I'd love to have their help. Donald tells me he needs about a thousand staunch supporters to make his decision, of which he says he already has a majority. And coming up at 6.30, an update on our continued push for answers from Congressman Radel's staff while he's in rehab and you're without representation in Washington. In the newsroom, Liza Fernandez, Fox 4, in your corner.